Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first episode of Ted's Boo Cellar recorded here at Found the Bar on the University of Sussex campus in quite a few months actually. So I do work here and I recorded my last episode here probably around February or January just before the whole pandemic hit. Now I'm just reviewing today a one of our bottled ciders because I think generally when you finish a hard day's work you want something indulgent to enjoy so i'm taking a look today at the bottled apple cider copperberg naked apple now copperberg are a line of ciders that are sort of generally fruit flavored not just specifically apple but like of like mixture fruits you've got mixed fruits you've got strawberry and lime you've got passion fruit you've got pear and elderflower and stuff like that now i like uh, apple ciders but I generally like them a little bit sharper, like, say, a Normandy cider or something like that. But I'm willing to give this a try because I've got to say, I've got to give the, the design and the look of the bottle, like, a nice 8.5 out of 10. It's handsome, but, you know, it's not like... You know, it's a clean, simple design that's a little bit, you know, striking, but it's not too overly artsy or too messy, you know. You know what you're getting with this. You're getting a simple apple cider, and that's what you're getting. And I... Yeah, I, I quite like the smell actually as well. Because it kind of smells somewhere halfway between like the sharpness of like a sharp old fashioned British or French cider. And, and it smells like somewhere like halfway between that and like a sweet modern cider. So it's got notes of like sort of sugar and caramelliness in there, but like a nice sharp apple bitterness. So it does smell good. So I'll give the smell a 9 out of 10. Um, it's, you can currently get this for £3.80 from here at Fama Bar. Uh, it is 4.5% alcohol volume. And I think that's like pretty good value, yeah, for like a bottle of this size. Like it's, it's like half a litre, so like you're getting quite a, good, a lot for your money actually. And yeah, I'm just gonna pour it into this glass with some ice here. Because as we all know, the best way to enjoy a, a beer or a cider is in a glass, preferably. You know, but I'm not. I'm not much of a picky man. But yeah, no. I I was looking through my YouTube playlist for Ted's Booze Cellar, and I was like, what haven't I reviewed here already? But I then saw this. I realised we'd only added it in shortly before the pandemic began, and I thought, well, I might as well review this. So yeah, why not? Anyway, on to the most important part of today's episode, which is obviously the tasting. So bottoms up. Mm. Okay, so it's got the initial taste is like this icy kind of like frostiness. It's very crisp, and then it sort of like sets sets up like up your taste buds for like this like little flourish of sweetness. It doesn't like overpower your senses with sweetness. It's just very like crisp, just little fizzle of sweetness, and then um, and then there's this sort of like very minutely sharp finish that complements the sweetness really nicely because my problem with like a lot of the Copperberg ciders is that they are too sweet and they do have kind of too many flavours going on with them but this is this is actually really good like simple in like I know I've reviewed a lot of craft ales recently that have been flavoured with things like I don't know, like peanut butter or like espresso or marshmallow or some crazy old malarkey like that. But what I like about this is just that it is simply an apple cider. You know, it's got hints of sharpness, hints of toffee, hints of apple, a little bit of sweetness, and it's encompassed like very, very nicely. And like usually I don't really like mass produced ciders, but this is actually really good. Mmm. Yeah, there's like it's like an apple cider with like this tiny underlay of like toffiness underneath, and then this like crisp, little sh- slightly sharp finish. It it almost feels like just drinking like really nice fermented apple juice. It is really refreshing. Yeah, I think I'll give it a. Um, yeah, I'll gladly give this like um, an eight point five. Yeah. I think I've had ciders that I prefer more, but that being said, this is this is damn good for like a mass produced one. So yeah, well recommended. Definitely worth the price. Would buy again and 
Yeah. I would say it's probably good as like a sesh drink or as a pre-drink drink. Because it's not too drunk, strong that it'll get you drunk straight away. But it's got a bit of a nymph to it. So, yeah, really, really nice. But, anyway, if you guys did like this episode of Ted's Booze Cellar, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for any future episodes, leave them in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my other social medias and YouTube channels in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, take masks with you to the shops and the pubs. Um, drink responsibly, know your limits, eat a good meal before you drink, and I'll s- and f- from here uh, at Falmer Bar, I'll see you guys next time at the bar on Ted's Booze Salad.